Hi, this is Dr. Hanson. Another video here. This is the Storm Edition, the official Storm Edition video. And we're going to be talking about, not specifically about Barry, but about any storm that comes around. First off is you don't want to stress about a storm. Uh, if you becoming all stressed and nervous and anxious about it, it doesn't help you plan anything, doesn't help you execute your plan any better. It often actually just causes more distraction. So just in general, practice being methodic about this and, and that would be the way to go. Now if you do find yourself getting stressed, you probably should get a dog because um, they can help you with stress. If you don't have a dog, you should have one anyway, and so go to the shelter afterwards and, and you can get yourself a dog of all type. Good to have around just in general. So you do your preparations, and whatever your preparations are, you live with them, and you execute them, uh, but just, just sit tight. If you feel that you're in a danger zone, then go ahead and just, just navigate or drive to someplace else. Um, don't put yourself in harm's way. If you're in an area of mandatory evacuation, please evacuate. If something medical happens, you're going to have a real difficult time with first responders getting there. So don't, don't try to tough it out. There's no, you don't win any points for writing things out. If you do get in, in a situation where you lose things, remember it's just stuff. We don't want to lose our lives. We don't want to impair our health. Stuff can be replaced. Yes, some people have like, more expensive stuff. Some people have cheaper stuff, uh, like this official Storm, Infinity Health Storm shirt. But if you get in a situation where you're in a high water area, don't drive through that. Uh, many people die because they try to drive their automobiles through high water areas and their car gets stuck. They find themselves in a deep area and they drown. Remember, there's not people around to help you. If you're not skilled and have practiced, and I don't advise this, on how to get out of a car that is sinking, then to do it your first time under stress is going to be extremely difficult. And you may may end up like this fella here, although I don't know his actual cause of demise. And some other health concerns are ants and snakes. So these high waters blowing into the lake, they'll flush the moccasins out of the woodwork or the stonework, and you may find, even if you're not walking through waters, if you're walking through grassy areas, that you may find, unfortunately, that there could be a snake walking through there with you. And if that snake bites you, now you're in a position you have to go to the emergency room for or anti-venin in some cases. Not all the time, but some cases. Ants, um, in a high water condition, ants form, red ants form rafts uh, that, that they're ready to cling together and float in the water. And if those rafts grab a hold of you, then all of a sudden you're going to be bit by a whole bunch of red ants, which is no good. The other thing about walking in water is that if you walk in water and you're barefoot, you're risking getting a laceration where there's dirty water around. Um, that can lead to infections, especially obviously if you have blood flow issues or diabetes, but even somebody who has no medical conditions, a dirty water laceration can cause a lot of grief and some serious uh, medical care. So if you must go out into standing water just to, to retrieve something or rescue something, make sure that you have really good footwear. That's going to be really important. If you get lacerated, and you have uh, laceration, uh, tetanus shot is not within the past five years, you have a dirty wound, you should get a tetanus vaccine again. So, um, you can, uh, we generally, we keep vaccines, and I still do have some vaccines, maybe on some short supply, but orders are coming in. Um, if for, I do have a good amount of Botox, so if anybody needs post-storm Botox or fillers, we've got that covered. So, the, the issue is, is that you want to Make sure that you don't know, put yourselves in harm way with the storm. Execute your plan. If you need to get a doctor, call your doctor. Uh, at, I'm on call, so let my patients know that even during the storm, uh, you're welcome to call me or text me if necessary. Um, if it's just a chat, maybe not. But if you have some medical question or medical condition, feel free and I encourage uh, contact and not waiting for something to fester. So that's the... A storm edition version of Infinity Health video series. So any questions or comments, please address them my way, unless they're bad comments. 
So make sure you like us and make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned for more videos coming up. And we hope things work out well and see you next time.